Hey guys, Brayden here, Brayden's Fish Tank channel, fishtanktv.com, coming at you with a new video. I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about the plans for this tank. Uh, quick update, the fish are all doing good. Got some fry in here, five Brevis Katoomba fry, doing good. There's one of my bigger ones. You can see him just peeking out of the shell. Then I've also got another one, two actually right there, but I got another one in the back see him right there just chilling by the dwarf's edge got one right there too so I got five these four which are over here and then this one who just oh he's right there really hard to see actually he's blended in with the rocks you can I gotta zoom on him there he is Anyways, though, so that's them. Um, they're doing perfectly fine. Um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted multis. Uh, Multifasciatus, Slamprologus, Multifasciatus, whatever you want to call them. I just call them multis because it's nice and short. Um, but, yeah, so I wanted to get multis, and uh, I don't have any room. You know, my my uh, room is full of tanks, and I don't... I don't, one, I don't want any more maintenance, and two, I mean, I don't have room. I mean, if I did have room, I'd probably still get one, besides the fact that that's going to be more maintenance. But still, uh, so I've decided, since I don't have any more room for row tanks, and I'm not going to set up another five gallon, um, that I would just do a divided tank. So what I'm going to do is, uh, multis and brevis can't be kept together. Shuttle bars typically shouldn't be kept together unless it's in a large tank. So what I'm going to do is put a divider, boom, right there, a third of the tank, five gallons. Just going to estimate though, it might be a little bit more than the third, but I don't really care, um, because I'm being too generous with these guys. So this is going to be the multi section over here. Just going to have a pair of them, so that's like five gallons for them. Then the ten gallons is for the five Brevis Katoomba. Now, honestly, I'd rather not give them ten gallons, the Brevis Katoomba fry, because, I mean, yes, they are eventually going to reach adulthood, and honestly, I could just give them like a third of the tank and have the rest multis, but I'd, I'd rather, I don't know, I'd, I'd rather just put it at their adult thing so then I don't have to move it in the future um but yeah so I've been getting mixed things the guy at my local fish store who's like a cichlid expert he he runs it it's one of the best fish stores like in my area of the country so I mean I he knows his stuff but um I mean he was saying you know I could have easily fit them once they're adult in 7.5 gallons and like he he I don't, I don't know he seems like uh i mean i was talking about 14 gallon and i'm like oh how many of those little uh brevis minutes because i got them from there could i fit in the 14 which is basically a tall 10 and he's like 20 so i feel like that's too much so i don't know if it's just like overstocking if that would just be overstocking the tank i'm not gonna get 20 for the 14 though i might get one or two more but that's pretty good, but so I feel like I could easily do the middle and have that for the brevis, and when they're growing up, you know, possibly move it over more, but I, I don't know, you know, so give me your advice on that. I don't really know. I mean, five full-grown adult brevis should probably be in a 10-gallon. Um, that's probably what most people are going to say, but I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what's up. Um, everything's doing good. I don't know when I'm going to be doing this. Also, another uh, question of advice. There was two things I was going to do. Once I figure out how much room they need, I'd like to either go two ways. One is just getting your regular mesh dividers with the plastic on the thing and then putting it in the tank right here and having the mesh. And I think that'll work fine. I've never used dividers, so I'm not sure. But I think that'll work fine. And my main reason is that I just don't want fry that's going to be produced from the multis getting into these, this, and this fry getting into this, and et cetera, et cetera. And I don't want any fish getting into other sides. Plus, I figure multis dig a lot, and I'm going to try and get an F1 generation if I can, so I don't want them, like, digging under the divider. But I'm pretty sure the divider goes, like, on the glass, and they can't get under that. I've never had one before, so I don't really know how it works. But, uh, yeah, so I was going to either do that with just the mesh divider right there, or I was thinking about basically making it two separate tanks and taking the 15 gallon and just splitting it in half and then having the, like, a glass 
like just regular glass like this inside the tank except this way so you know a sheet of glass in the middle between that and then just silicone on silicone it on so it's like permanent but then I'd have to get another filter and I don't know which one would just be better it would just be nice making it two separate tanks but I think the divider is just a better way to go I just don't want the fry uh, mixing and I don't know if the fry can get through the mesh holes or if I'd have any problems with that um, so yeah that's just how they're going so please comment down below um, on what you think I should do how much room you think I should give them because I've seen like colonies of like four or five brevis in a 5.5 .5, and they looked perfectly fine but I you know I don't want to be over restocking my tanks and I don't want haters being like commenting on my videos and being like oh you're not giving them enough, enough space so I want to make everybody happy so I want to do it the right way and do what pe most people think so yeah I just want you guys to comment down below and tell me what you think so yeah thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe and I will talk to you guys later all right thanks come chat on fishtanktv.com too great website also if you're into shell dwellers check out shelldwellers.com it's pretty sweet too you get a lot of information on there so yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Please like the video. Uh, I really like the support that you guys give me in the comments down below. So uh, thanks a lot, and I hope you guys have a good day. Alright, see ya.